The following is a first round matchup in the Super Indy 14 tournament and is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, being accompanied to ringside by the Miley Cyrus of professional wrestling, Ray Lynn, representing the hashtag Platinum Blonde World Tour. He weighs in at 203 pounds, wrestling out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Here is Dylan Bustick. The Justin Bieber of professional wrestling beat Keith Hot to qualify into Super Indy. This young man has been wrestling since he was a teenager, I believe, 16 or 17 years of age. He's won several regional championships, most notably from his former home base, Ohio Valley Wrestling in Louisville, Kentucky. But Bostic has never been a part of an event with the history and prestige of Super Indy. Bostic is another one of those athletes you don't fashion as Super Indy style. But he's superficial, he's pompous, he's materialistic, he's objective. He's all about image. He's really, in the opinion of many, all that's wrong with pop culture today. But you can't count them out. And there's that but, Joe. There's that but. You can complain about it, but it's worked for him. Oh, I thought you meant my Bray Lynn. And his opponent. Well, you want to talk about getting the job done. You want to talk about somebody that's made it work. Representing the Founding Fathers, he weighs in at 209 pounds. Receiving formal training in Hayabusa, Japan. Please welcome Super Hentai. The only man to two peat. Super Indy one. The first one. Super Indy eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey. That's the faces of change. De Niro and Corpo with a chair. What are they doing out here? Well, the Founding Fathers and the Faces of Change have had their issue. They got Hentai's knee. Hey! Oh, Hentai's knee was on those stairs. And De Niro just swung that chair. Dennis Gregory for the save. Jimmy Vegas. Vegas on crutches. Oh, oh Vegas got one. Jimmy Vegas tore his quadriceps muscle. Already on the men, but he's still out here looking for a fight. And Hentai, the real story here, Hentai's hurt. Hentai's knee was sandwiched between those ring steps and that steel chair. I hate to say this, but Vegas may need to lend a crutch to Hentai at this point. Hentai's hurt bad. You two dudes, step back for a minute. This ain't about you. That's right, sir. When you hit puberty and get some shape, maybe you'll look like a bra. Easy, easy, Take young lady. Take care of your son. Daddy's talking. Easy. She's a feisty little Face cupcake. Face the change. Turn that life flight helicopter around and get Rose's ass out here. I know he's your daddy and he makes all your decisions. So let's let the grown-ups talk for a bit. Rosa, limp your broke ass out here. I wish uh, we had an update on hentai right now. We may not have. I mean, He's it looks not like we. Standing it yet. looks like we. I mean, I, I hate to see Super Indy dream of anybody in like this. Hentai looking a three peat, but. Hey. Rose is out here. All right, Rosa, listen. It's this simple. We got a cute little show in August that don't have a lot of flipping and dipping and jerking around and hot spot freaks. It's called War Games. And you might see where I'm going with this, but nobody does war better than me. So I say this, sir. If you can peel off those little cute white skinny jeans and find the the change and the father fathers in a cage. You got the balls? I want an answer. 
answer, and I want an answer tonight. Talk about putting somebody on the spot, J Word. Well, I gotta say, it puts an interesting slant on the on the uh, faces of change. Last we saw VIB, uh, he was slapping the other members on their way back. Now the founding fathers went everyone in a cage at war games, and uh, Dylan Bosick, I guess, is sort of wondering what's happening. Well, yeah, the founding, we'll, we'll, we'll hope to get Joe Gosis answer to that challenge later on in the broadcast. But unfortunately, right now, Jay, our, our, our hearts go out to Super Hentai, who, who cannot support his own weight on that knee. Clearly, the faces of change did their damage. He's trying to walk out. I give him credit. Well, yeah, Hentai's the kind of guy, he'll refuse a stretcher. Flat out. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been informed by IWC owner Justin Plummer that our resident doctor on staff at every match has checked out Super Hentai. Super and Hentai is not able to compete. Therefore, your winner, as a result of a forfeit, moving on to the semifinals, Dylan Boston. And that's the dream for anyone in this tournament, you would have to believe. Uh, a bye. Hentai's the man that made Super Indy. He embodies it, personifies it. And Vegas is Okay, angry. here it is. Super Hentai wants Dylan and Steve to know something. He says he wants to go. You can't stop him. Wait a He's second. He's taking off his shirt. Hentai standing. He is, he is hobbling every toward the ring. Every face of change in the back. We'll do the match if he wants to do it. But this is on you, Hentai. This is on you guys. Hentai's back on his feet. I think Dylan Bostick is trying to argue that he Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Bostick has declared he will give Hentai his shot. He will even oh. give him time to recover. This match will happen. Well, there you go, Dylan Bostick. Tra uh, you said it was all glamour. No backbone. Well, this takes some backbone, frankly. Well, uh, injured hentai is still hentai. To be fair, does Bostic have a say in the matter if Justin Plummer already ruled it? Well, he agreed to the match. Nobody really cares what Dylan Bostic has to say. I'd like to hear it. And, he and hentai, you can see it. That, that knee is still very ginger. He's still trying to... I, I don't know that he's actually stood on both feet yet. Uh, I don't think with his full body weight balanced out, I think you're right. Hentai is supporting himself in that corner, but Hentai wants to fight. And Bostic, I think, uh, oh, let's be friends now. He's gone up the battle a minute ago. Handshake. Oh, he's only, on the up and up. Only Bostic can make a handshake seem condescending. You can just feel this, the, the, the vibes he gives off. He, you can tell Bostic feels like he's better than everybody else in this room. And Bostic starting out slowly on hand tie. Bostic feels like he's got the situation in hand. Well, let's be honest, Hentai can't balance his weight on one leg. He can't get a good footing to uh, really sink any hold in or hold it or hold anyone from going to the ropes, as we just saw. I'll, I'll tell you what, Hentai has it is an advantage. He has, for his weight class, as we've touched on over the years, an uh, unmatched level of power. Uh, and a tremendous upper body strength. Will that be enough to counteract uh, the lack of base he has. That's the thing, you have to have the base to make the power work. If he has the body strength to lift him into the air, he doesn't have the body strength to turn him, to turn it into a slam with any real effect, not the way that he normally would. I want to point out that Dylan Boss, who weighs about 140 pounds soaking wet, just took, just took Hentai off his feet with a shoulder tackle and Hentai attempting to get to his feet put pressure on that leg. Oh, dragging him out by the bad legs. Oh, just wrenching that knee. And now the shark sensing blood, Bostic, going to work. Well, 
to Boston's credit, he saw the, uh, he sees the target. He goes after it. I mean, well, Hintai agreed to be in this match with this injury. I'm not faulting Boston. The ring post is a little much here. I now I'm faulting Bostick. Ray Lynn Bostick didn't involved. do that. You can't be angry at Bostick for what Ray Lynn does. You don't think Bostick is the brains of that operation? Well, well, I mean, they're both a couple of airheads, so I guess it is a toss-up. Let's just say I, uh, I, don't, I don't know who I'd bet on if they both took the men's offense. That's what I'm about. There you go. I'd bet on the house. How about that one? Good. Everything's coming up now, though, so... Oh, figure four? No! It was Hentai inside Cradle! Oh, you'd love to see... Oh, Hentai. His weight collapsed under he, that knee. He went to shoot low and, and looked like he was going for a single leg. And when he put the pressure on the knee to shoot forward, it just gave out. He just can't even stand. He can't stand, but he can't quit either. And again, Jay Worth, there would not be a Super Indy today without Super Hentai. He originated it. He brought it back. He won it twice. He won the first one. He won the largest one. He has the chance to be the, the only man to three-peat tonight when no one else has even won it twice. And you have to believe that's part of what's going through his head and making him try and wrestle on a bad knee. Super Hentai's legacy, at the end of his run, whenever that is, is going to be Super Indy. This is Hentai's... Oh. This is Hentai's domain. And unfortunately... Oh! And that elbow was right in place, Joe. He's got some fight. A kick with the good leg. Arado! My God! The shoulder blade! No! Jay Worth, this is Hentai's eighth Super Indy tournament. That's a record. Nobody else has been able to do it. Double palm thrust. Cover. No. Five minutes from this contest. Five minutes. Hintai knows he can't use his base effectively, so he's pulling out all the weapons that don't rely on it. Oh, Bostic has wrenched the knee. Wrenched the leg out from underneath. And Bostic covers. Into the Bostic crab and he elevates. Oh, there's pressure not just on the back, but on the knees as well. If I were Boston, I would switch that to a single leg and just concentrate on the hurt leg, pull more on the knee. Bostic, you can see he is pulling his focus on pulling up on the knee. Notice he's not wrenching on the back. He's down to one knee on the right side. Yep. He's cinching in on that right knee, not worried about that. And then he's over. Head tight. Head tight passed out. Boston was focused on one area, not the back, not the legs, but the one injured knee. Let's be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bobby Potter has deemed that Super Hentai can no longer defend himself. Here is your winner moving on to the semifinals, uh, Dylan Hustick. Whether you like him or not, he now has a great chance in the Super Indy tournament. He had a minimal amount of effort in the first round. Just break a sweat. That has to give him a little bit of an advantage going further. A little bit gives him a hell of a lot of an advantage, but he moves on to the semi-final round against our bye. Super Indy champion Andrew Palace, so to me that'll be even keel. No, good point, good point. So Bostic, uh, Palace was planning for someone fatigued, he does not get that. But uh, again, the injury to Hentai caused by the faces of change. Will we get war games? Will we get Cage Fury? with the faces of change versus the Founding Fathers. And if so, did Dennis Gregory cash a check with his mouth that he can't cash because Jimmy Vegas hurt Super Hentai maybe on the injured list as well? You know, Denny's temper has always ran before him in the war. You're right, this may be something where he just agreed to lock himself in a cage with three people who want to beat the crap out. But even at a loss, you can see the super indie spirit stays strong with super head time.